Hello everybody. Today we're going to replace this thermostat. This is a mechanical thermostat and it's not working very well. And we're going to replace it with these new Cadet four wires, 240 volt thermostat. So don't go anywhere and I'll show you how I do it. So before we do anything, we're gonna kill the power at the circuit breaker. So I have a double pole 30 amp breaker. So that kills the power to my heaters. Before we replace this thermostat, let me tell you what to expect. And I'm gonna tell you how many, how many heaters this thermostat controls. So we have two we have a five footer and a four footer there. We have a two feet. And then we have a two feet heater on that side. And we have another two feet heater over here. So this is what we're gonna expect, two wires from the power source, two wires 120 each, so that's 240 volts. And then these two heaters are connected in parallel. So we use, exp and that's another video on series and parallel. How do you connect them? So two wires from these two heaters, another two wires from this heater, and another two wires from this heater. So this is a 30 amp double breaker so that's a total of 7200 watts but we can only use it 80 percent of its capacity so that'll be 5760 so if we add up all the wattages for these heaters so the five footer is 1500 the four footer is five uh, it's a thousand and then the other two heaters are 500 each that will be 500 and 500 so that's 35 watts so that's plenty this 30 amp breaker it's able to handle all these four heaters with no problem so now we're going to remove the face cover and there are two screws so we're going to remove these two screws and we're going to we're going to score around here so we don't bring any of the paint back when we remove it so we don't peel any paint Okay, now remember how many wires so don't be afraid don't get scared for how many wires that are there so uh, before I do anything I'm gonna make sure and I'm gonna use the, my one of my preferred tools to see if there's any power there so I hear some power from that so let's find out what's going on So as I said, there are four wires, plus our four wires from the thermostat, that's a lot of wires. So we have four, and then six, and then eight, and then four for our thermostat, so that's 12 wires total. And we're going to make sure there's no power, so there is no power to any of these. There is power in the yellow one, but that's just a wire passing through, it's not for our heaters. But you have to just acknowledge that and be careful. So no power on this. And then I'm gonna remove all the wire nuts and separate everything uh, to see what's what. And then we're gonna identify 
where the power comes from. And we need to bring two more from inside. Okay, so we're gonna find out which has the power. So this, these two black wires have the power. Okay, so these black wires are these that comes from the breaker box. And then these two heaters, which are connected in parallel, so just one set of wire is gonna be these two. And then these blue wires are for this heater here. And then these two black wires are for this heater. So I'm gonna show you, since uh, this heater in the kitchen has a thermostat in the heater itself, we are gonna connect these two wires with the power source so the power comes uh, direct from the source to the heater and then the thermostat is gonna be used to control the temperature not the thermostat we're gonna install here is gonna be this one because this heater has its own thermostat so we're gonna connect these two together before our uh, thermostat. So I'm gonna show you how. So I just killed the power to the breaker and we're gonna make sure there's no power. May always make, double make sure there's no power. So there's no power. Now remember, these are the kitchen, these wires are for the kitchen heater and the kitchen heater is controlled by another thermostat. So we're gonna connect these two wires to the power source, these two wires to the power source. And I'm gonna show you how. And then I'm gonna show you right here. This is the, di the wiring diagram for my um, thermostat. And as, as you could see, the first two wires is for the load and the two other wires, the wires from the back is for uh, line voltage. So these two wires are for the line voltage and these ones to the left are going to be for the load because the diagram says so. So now this is my power. I'm going to grab one of these, any, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to get it together. And then these two. Okay, and since this is my power source, I'm gonna go with the line, which is this one and this one. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm gonna put it, this block with these two. And this, the other one, is gonna be with these two blocks here. Now, on the load side, remember these are the load sides, so are the, the ones on the front, this one, on this one, so this is one heater and this is another heater. So I'm gonna grab one of each, which is gonna be the load. With any wire.
and then the other two which is one from one heater and this is from another heater this is gonna go to the other load wire So I'm gonna try to make it simpler. We have a breaker box and the two wires which are 240 volts, 230 amp breakers and remember the kitchen heater has its own thermostat so we're gonna bypass it. That means we're gonna connect it direct to the power source. So let's do that. Let's grab this power one. with this one here so we have this wire of the heater with the line side and the line side of the breaker box and then the other line we're gonna jump this we're gonna get this one here the other wire of the power from the breaker with the other wire of the kitchen because it's gonna be direct wire because this thermostat is going to control this one and now let's go with uh, the load the low side is always the heaters so we're going to have this wire here and we're going to connect one wire of the he one heater and then the other one here and then we're going to put a wire nut there and then the other load which is this one we're going to grab the other wire of the heater and then the reminder is going to be right there. So that's it. So to make it easier, if you only had one heater over here and then we have our, our thermostat. So and this is our junction box. The power comes from the breaker box, from the breaker. And this is our line, line one. And this is line two, and that makes 240. And as the uh, in the back of your th thermostat says, we're gonna connect line to line. So this one with this one, and then the other line, the red wire to the other line. This is a wire knot. And then we're gonna grab the load. The load is always the heater. So these are two wires from our heater. So one is going to be here. And the other one is going to be here. So I pushed all the wires inside. And now before I push, before I put it in, I'm going to remove this screw here. I'm going to loosen it up. This side of the thermostat. And I'm going to put it on my table. So I finish installing the two screws. Now I'm going to install my faceplate. Now we're going to set it back to 72 degrees we want. And every time you press, it's 0.5 degrees. So you have to press two times for one degree. Hey guys, that's it for today. It's a bit confusing, but remember, the load is always the heaters. And the line is connected to the breaker, the wires that come from the breaker. So that's the line side. And uh, just concentrate following the wires in the diagram I just did and you should be fine. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button so more people see this video 
And if you have any questions, please just post them and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Have a great night. I'll see you next video. See you around.